everyone. Welcome to Morgan Brayton and other people. We'd like to start the show today with a reading from the Morgan Brayton Duotang of Poetry, 1984. <clears throat> I want to find a way to show my feelings for you, but I'm just not quite sure. Is it the right thing to do? You joke around a lot, but I can tell it's just your way of asking me how I feel, but what am I to say? I feel that I'm too young, that maybe I should give it time. Is making love the only way that I can keep you mine? <laughs> I just don't want to make a mistake that will ruin us forever. I feel so safe and so secure when we're alone together. <laughs> just let me know that you still care, no matter what I choose. I know that with someone as special as you, that I would never lose. Now, unless you are just a terrible poet across the board, you probably picked up that today on the show, we're talking about our teen years. Ladies, do you need a minute? Are you okay? <laughs> do you want? <laughs> I know, it's moving. Yeah. I'm just that dying is what to know, did you does. make love to him? Okay, I will tell you the truth. There was no decision to be made. This was just me as an artist <laughs> tapping into collective struggles that we all... Nobody, nobody wanted, wanted, nobody to, wanted to do me. No, no. no, wasn't an issue. So speaking of teen years, our attitude adjuster today, first of all, visually stunning. It's gorgeous. Mm. Second of all, I have a feeling delicious. Now, I know some of us in our teen years drank Disgusting peach cider. <laughs> look at you! Look at you! So cool. I was such a Do lady. Peach cider. <laughs> Two liter bottles of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think across the board we can all agree that mostly what we drank was a little bit of whatever we could sneak out of our parents' liquor cabinets without anybody finding out, putting it in a glass and drinking it. So and I know this is going to have to be beeped, but today's attitude adjuster is shit mix. Ladies, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a little kick to that one. Yeah. Wow. Quite the assortment of flavors. I feel like your addition of cherry cola might not <laughs> yeah. have helped the situation. It's like drinking cough syrup. Mm hmm. I oh, I didn't think of that. Now I like it. Because <laughs> I couldn't what? place it, but now that I know what it tastes like, yeah. mm. it's delicious. That's how the Mormons get drunk. So drunk. Holy oh, crap, tired. that's awful. <laughs> oh. Mormon teenagers drink cough syrup because it is not in the Bible that they can't. Oh. So they get all popped oh. so up. Creative. On cough syrup. On I, I like the way like heavily religious people like to get off on a technicality. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, uh, somebody I know told me this from their teen years, which is a little something they call God's back door, because you're still a virgin. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, which no. is... Hey, I went to private school. It's legit, you guys. <laughs> I yeah. was much more pure. I was what you'd call a blowjob Christian. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. That was good, too. There yeah. Go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, We're you can take it in the mouth right or put in. it in the mouth, and you're totally fine. Absolutely. Yeah. Is it These strange not about this. Night. I was not raised Christian. <laughs> you just decided to be a Christian teen? No, she's a lesbian. She oh. just didn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Were you just really uh, swayed by winger? That doesn't make any sense. I'm what is that? No one understands too... my teen references because no. I was a teen in the 80s. You were a teen when I was born. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, <laughs> well, yeah. Fatima, no, nobody yes. needs yeah. your attitude. Uh, I mean, like I'm really it. glad you're here today. Oh, yeah. thank you. You look Thanks. so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so we know what kind of teen you were. I was just thinking about that. I was like 23. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like, you just like, like, oh, something. that's how I was like. But that's when I had my teen years. <laughs> Oh, oh that's yeah. true. I was in my that 20s. I really pushed everything back. You were busy as a teen. Yeah, I was also terrified of being one, and I refused to. What when does that mean? My eldest brother's six years older than me, so when he entered teen years, I was only about seven, and my parents would turn to me and say, never become a teenager. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, <laughs> How'd that work for you? Oh, I was, I was like a responsible adult, like a 30-year-old woman right. throughout my teen years. Hold on a second here. I, I have uh, photos. I don't yeah. know. Y'all, you do look kind of like a responsible. I'm on a sailboat, oh, for goodness sake. Oh, you are on a sailboat. Wow. 
Well, we know what you were like in your 20s, and now we know what kind of responsible teen you were. Uh, I feel like, you, like uh, no, don't turn away. I'm looking at Me? you. I feel <laughs> like I am curious to know what kind of teen you were. Well, did you give thank you notes as a teen? I was both very responsible and hardworking. Like, I had a job, and I was like a, a little assistant manager. Uh, but what kind of I, job did you have? I worked at McDonald's. McDonald's! Oh. But I was also the one that went into the liquor store at 16. I got in a lot of trouble. You did. Growing up. Because I didn't have, like, we didn't have liquor in our house. Like, my family was religious. My sister was, like, such a good straight A student. And I was, like, this little hellion. Yeah. But yet responsible, too. It's probably what kept you alive. That's right. <laughs> That's right. What about you, Robin? Um, I was very boring as a teenager. I was afraid of everything. I went to one party once and I was so scared at the party because of what people were doing. Just look out the whole time. That I called my dad to come pick me up because I was like, oh. people were doing nasty things. I was just afraid to always get in trouble and I was very well behaved. I just hung out at home. And what happened? I don't know. <laughs> what was in style when you were a teen? What was like the hit? I don't know because I was not in style <laughs> as a teen. I'm sorry, that might, that might be the best possible <laughs> segue. I didn't have the look I think like, that people oh, were going for. Oh. Hey, Fatima, that response. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it does. That. I know. I wasn't an attractive teenager. It's not that you're unattractive. It just you look, look like your grandma. First of all, a five-year-old woman who works in a bank. First of all, I, my eyes were not cross-eyed. It was the reflection of my glasses. What? How many pairs of glasses are you wearing? <laughs> it's like, it looks like... Too. Also, that jacket was very hip and adorable. <laughs> um, and yeah, and in I your, in like your grandma's crown. I know. I know. <laughs> the it high collared shirt with the neck. That is very now. in right now. <laughs> it, it is. is. Yeah, very that's stylish. a hipster outfit. Yeah, it it is. Is. I was just way ahead of the times, you guys. I guess yeah, that's I it. I know. I, I don't know how it. I survived. When I look back in a lot of pictures when I was 17, 18, like, that's how we dress. Like I had like this one skirt and vest suit. It was all floor. Like you would <laughs> it, like, and it, I was like, why am I dre dressed yeah. like a full grown adult? And <laughs> yeah. I was like Awful. sixteen, and I'm like, yeah, it was a lot yeah. of there was a little floral business jacket, suits. floral and yeah. suits. suits. It was a very yeah. formal suits. time. For every Saturday, I would steal something from my mother's closet. Yeah. So all of my pictures look like I'm head of payroll. <laughs> <laughs> I went through a phase where I thought, oh, I'm going to wear my dad's sport coat. Cool. And I, I would go I to his too. closet and take his, like, so yellow, oh, like, with the yeah. yellow patches. I loved it so Absolutely. Much. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a look at some more uh, embarrassing photos of Robin. And uh, the rest of us. No, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful No, man. I'm beautiful now. I beautiful look like <laughs> no, that's legit. That's totally legit. We gotta move. <laughs> because I, I feel like I'm trying to make it better, but every time I go to say no. something, I just make it worse. It's a terrifying photo. I'm sorry, Robin. I love you, Matthew, but it's terrifying. Uh, we'll be right back with more Morgan Brayton and other people after this. Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. We're talking about our teen years today on the show. <laughs> I know. We, we, we've gone deep already. We're getting right into it. So uh, we talked about what kind of teens are down at that end of oh the boy. table. And now, Fatima, it's you. Uh, I have the most adorable teen. Like, how old were you? Like, 13? I was 13 in this picture. I didn't. Oh. I thought it was adorable. Oh, great. Can we just notice the shirt? It's a vanilla, vanilla ice shirt. Vanilla ice shirt. I got it for my cousin. I wore a lot of hand me downs. And your little head wrap. You're adorable. Yeah, it was so Sunday adorable. School. Did you love vanilla ice though? Because I find that hilarious. She's too young to love. I thought it was cool that's true. because my cousin was super cool, and she's like, "This T-shirt is cool." So I was like, "I trust oh. you." <laughs> it wasn't cool. You did get cool. I got a little bit cooler, guys. Check this out. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. That's like Hello. so Sasha Fierce, like yeah. look at you go. Yeah, I was singing karaoke. You look like, a, like, you look it. A, wasted, no offense, but also I was for sure like wasted. <laughs> yeah. That would be my profile pic on Tinder for sure. Hey. <laughs> were you a good teen or were you wasted teen? I was a the teen of two faces. Oh. oh. To my parents. Right. Totally good. Mm. To the rest of the world, the opposite of good. What right. did you do? I was the kid who would like hide everything from my mom when I would like if 
if I was going to the high school party, I'd be like, hey, mom, I'm going to my friend's house. We're going to work on a project. And this was the time of cell phones, so I could get away with things like that. Oh, because they'd call, and you'd just be like, and be everybody like, at the party, be yeah, quiet. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hey, exactly. We just turn on a little bit of music. Can't talk about the library. Mm-hmm. Oh. And she believed me, and I got away with it. My younger siblings, they just, they forgot about the whole two-faced thing. Now they're just like, yeah, we're drunk, Mom. So what of it? <laughs> Bold. No respect. I know. Kids don't respect their parents no. enough to lie anymore. <laughs> no respect anymore. I was definitely a good, I mean, it's not a huge surprise to you that I was a good girl. Yeah. Like, I stopped a walkout at my high school once. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, called an assembly and stood up in front of the school and talked to everybody out of it. I oh, just you would have been I so led a walkout. Walk right? <laughs> <laughs> in my own defense, there was no, there was nothing really at issue. It was one of those, like, hey, you know what? We don't have to go to school tomorrow afternoon if, if we, we just bugger out. off, right? So, here, I'll show you. Here's Teen Morgan. So oh, cool. I can't even believe that's you. It's a teen dream. Yeah. And you, you have a tail, right? I have a tail. If you oh. look closely, I, and it's pink. Ay, ay, ay. And my two best friends at the time, our pictures are identical. We have the same pink camisole, the same uh, cardigan, the same <laughs> frosted lips from the mall, one hoop earring. Anyways, so Ugh. good girl Morgan got suspended from school in grade 10. Do you want to know why? Because you were late? Late record. <laughs> yeah. So it starts out pretty good. September, four lates. October, seven lates. November, 13 lates. December, six. Oh, there weren't that many school days in December. <laughs> January, I was late 17 times. <laughs> February, I was late 14 times. The month of March, I was late 19 times. If you do the math on that, only 20 that's like days. Exactly. All of the, yeah, that's I was all late the days. every single day. They said to me, You have the worst late record in the entire history <laughs> of this high school. And I was Whoa. like, that does not do, like me. do I get a plaque? Or that's something? an achievement. I was so, I felt like it was an yeah. achievement. They did not look at it that way. I was suspended from school, and I had been the student council president stripped me of my presidency. <gasps> oh. Well, that was the only way they could get to you because like you just said, you didn't care about no, skipping school. It was a hard year, but you know what? It took its toll on me because I will show you the following year. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> what were you doing with your hair? I don't know. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Oh, oh boy. boy. Yeah, this was, this was oh, wow. when I loved Prince. This was when I loved the Ramones. Things wow. went downhill. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I see yeah. that progression. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, as I say, I was a huge, my two best friends and I were huge Prince fans. Uh, in fact, I found this in my uh, diary from 1985. I'm not going to go to school tomorrow. It's Prince's birthday, three exclamation points. I'm going to go to Deb's in the morning and go to sleep, then come home, clean up my room. This was how bad I was. I was going to skip out, clean up my room, <laughs> oh, uh, then yeah. go back to Deb's and get totally pissed and crash there for the night. I'm going to have so much fun. We had parties on Prince's birthday every year. Aww. What were you, what was your, we're all different ages, what was your musical jam? New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block? Yep. <laughs> that was it. I used to go shopping at Randy River and pick out my boyfriend Donnie oh, Wahlberg's yeah. outfit that I was getting for <laughs> And when they were like, what size is he? I'm like, I don't know, he's lost a little weight. So I should get two sizes, just in case. And they're and like, is like, he okay. your son? Because why are you wearing that old lady outfit? <laughs> You're 47, right? There you go. Sorry. You are adorable. Fine. Yeah, and they'd be like, do you want us to ring that up? And I was like, well, maybe I should bring him in to try them on. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. Do you still love Donnie Wahlberg? Oh, yeah. I Are you do. upset when he got kicked off that plane? Do you remember that? No. Oh, no. I don't know why that's I only in my head. Good things. Oh, I love it. I can't remember which camera to look at at the beginning of the shoot, but I remember that once Donnie Wahlberg was kicked off a plane for bad behavior. No. I don't know why. No, I love that about him. He's such a bad boy. He was a bad boy. Uh, oh, yeah. So I wasn't sexy. into New Kids on the Block, but I was into him because he was a bad boy. Yeah, he yeah. was the best. Did you have yeah. actual boyfriends? Um, I had boyfriends. one boyfriend in high school for about two months. And I was, I think we, I've already said this, I was so frightened mm -hmm. of him touching my body or him wanting me to touch his. I wore so many buttons. <laughs> like I was buttoned so high. And yeah, I was just, he'd be like, then, ah! and then I would yeah. just, and then we broke up because I believe the word he used was, I was frigid. Uh, <laughs> yes. That was the worst thing that you could be in yeah. high school yeah. if somebody called you frigid. I was not writing poems about do I or do, do I not. I was like, please don't touch me. <laughs> 
doesn't even rhyme. I know. All right, I'm going to explain the ins and outs of poetry to Erica while we take a quick break, <laughs> and we'll be right back with Morgan Brayton and other people. Welcome back to Morgan Brayton and other people. We're talking about our teen years on the show today. I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that was like one of my favorite things to do as a teenager that I actually quite miss in our world of technology was notes. Did you, everybody, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't even know if kids write notes anymore. They, do they just text? They just text. It's text. Why they have their they? phones in class with them. Exactly, yeah. right? Awful. Because like notes were the best. Look at this note from my friend Erica. It's got oh, stickers. Oh, and... She's, you know, wow. and she's like, decorate. Look at this one. Had you not it's seen like, her for a while? The, or? No, this is just like a regular daily. <laughs> that calligraphy in there? That, no, that's a, <laughs> so you will never have heard of letter set, but it's like letters that you would rub oh, on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good right? to still get those at Michael's Crafts. So oh, good. Very cute. Uh, yeah. And, and I have this, uh, this note that I found from a boy in grade eight that I, I won't read you because it's like, I don't know why a boy in grade eight sent like a six page That's letter. That's a lot. It's a lot. Favorite. It was really yeah. bored. But uh, some of my favorites are, it's close to midnight, Thriller Michael Jackson is on the radio. I'm gonna turn on some ZZ Top or Led Zeppelin. <laughs> that was, now Katie and I went to the same high school. Uh, not at the same time, because Katie is much older than I am. <laughs> but uh, you can, you, it was, it was headbanger high, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big time. So he was not so. Uh, do you like horror movies? I saw an American Werewolf in London. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that Michael Jackson is going to sue Pepsi for what happened to his hair. <laughs> it's like just, half a conversation, right? I love it's like it. setting the tone. I loved notes though, because he would just pour everything into them, and then when you would, like when you would get something like this, somebody oh. did so like juicy. six pages it's very for me. Then your parents so would good. find. My mom found a note in my jeans <gasps> once when she did laundry. It had an A reference to a blowjob in it, oh, and no. she was so. And I didn't, I didn't ask for the note back, so I still to this day I don't know <laughs> what, it what like, because it was from my best friend, and I was like, who was giving the blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> Please you tell me it wasn't me. <laughs> you should. I bet your mom still has it. You should have called oh my her God, in advance of the show and been like, can I have that note I back? I could we're doing never <laughs> ever bring that up to my mother even no. today. Oh, oh no. Wants and I'm sure she that. doesn't have that note. That's not what you hold on to. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> scrapbook. When you, yeah. I am so anything that I can blackmail my kids with. I'm holding on to for good. I uh, have a letter. Um, it's a note. It's written on school paper. It's a note. No, it, it, I. It was placed on his pillow. When I went to feed his cat one day, my boyfriend, uh, well, we were on a break at the time. He wrote, to a friend. That was me. And then he said, this is, the first, this is how it started. As the sun comes up on my life every day, so do you. Its warmth stirs and moves the blood in my veins, the same as you. I look forward to the coming of the sun every day, just as I look forward to the coming of you to oh! me. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, don't Whoa. be sick, we, you know. Uh, I guess you could say that you are my son. For you were so much like the sun. <laughs> just went wow. on and on and on about the sun for quite some time. Um, <laughs> then, these, this is my favorite. Then he actually says, like sands through an hourglass, these are the days no. of my No way! Get yeah. out of here. Quoted it incorrectly. <laughs> and ours have been very interesting and special, and I pray they will continue to be that way. Then, and this was like, I don't know, 19, like right after Forrest Gump. Like the infamous Forrest Gump says, <laughs> life, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I didn't know what I was going to get, and now I know, and I pray that I get to keep it, for I do truly love that chocolate I found some 16 and a half months ago from a friend. <laughs> he called you his chocolate? After his chocolate all of that. and his son, you guys. Oh. I love him writing Sans in the Hourglass, <laughs> but like <laughs> thinking that he wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I bet he kept a copy really... of that note for oh, himself. I just loved it. I loved finding that this oh morning because I was just thought this is the best. And I remember, oh yeah, I remember like I, it was because I liked another boy and I didn't know if I wanted to be with him anymore. And I mean, <laughs> lo and behold, I didn't want to be with any boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sure. he might be gay too. But. I know, I'm like, no, I look at that penmanship. I'm like, there's some questions. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, a uh, follow up question to that. How many of your boyfriends from uh, high school? have since come out of the closet. None that I know. Really? No. Oh no. man. No. I it's like it's like a cheerleading team. <laughs> I was like, uh, 
oh well, that yeah. explains it. I, apparently, I mostly dated gay dudes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. A lot no. of them, but it was hard in the '80s because you couldn't tell. They all looked like Boy George. Yeah. So other than one was know, one was seen but, in yeah. the mall trying on heels one day. Earring, remember? If you had oh, an earring. Oh, the earring. That was earring. I, I don't yeah. even know what it was. But they, but. they had like both ears. It was very. It was hard. Very to, confusing. A lot of hair. And yeah, exactly. By the time I was in high school, everybody was writing blog posts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, forget about live notes. journals. <laughs> yeah, live journals or Zanga. I had a Zanga. What is I that? I don't, I don't even know that, that one. No, no it's no. so old. Uh, not that old, guys. <laughs> I recently read a couple of them at a show, and one of the lines that really stuck out at me it was at the end of a blog post, and I was like, "Say la V question mark Say la bullshit." <laughs> you were really so sticking moving. it to me. Yeah. yeah. I was like, take that, French sayings. See, but this, like, if you want to take a trip down memory lane, yeah. you go to the internet, and anyone else can do that. Like, I posted something, and my friend was like, take that down on Facebook right now. She goes, we are the last generation that didn't live everything on mm. social media. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. But it's you're, everything's just there. You don't have a box in your basement with all these notes. I to, no. My niece does. She's got, really? like, yeah, she handwrites things. and. She, but that's rare. I imagine yeah. it must be so stressful. I would get so nervous the day that the annual was coming out. Like, oh, I want, like you were saying, I wonder what picture they used. Yeah. And then I think about my niece, and the yearbook comes out every day for her. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of uh, yearbooks. Oh, let's, yeah. Uh, let's have a, because I think there's just something, there's like a, uh, an absolute nostalgia that happened as soon as you open that first page. Yeah, uh -huh. right. <clears throat> all the writing. Of like the, so like, have a good summer. I did have a good summer. Did yes. you? Hags. 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 Yeah, Hags. I did. Let's party. That that was a big one. And let's party this summer. Yeah, let's party. Oh, and then, and then school was out, school. and then nobody saw each other. You never saw each other. I got a lot, especially this was my graduation year, and all of a sudden everyone had this like camaraderie for one another in like the last one week of school that we had never had for yeah, five yeah. years. Right. And I, everyone wrote their phone number, and I was like, we have never, <laughs> yeah. you have never spoken to me. Yeah. Right. And now you're like, let's hang out. We're not gonna. We're not gonna hang out. Yeah. But then I thought for I was like. I got friends. Oh. I did it. Oh. And I thought, like, I should have been doing this sooner. And then she starts calling them. It's like, this number's been disconnected. <laughs> oh. This number's oh. been disconnected. Oh. What yeah. happened? Are you still friends with all those people? Do you still well, have we the were, numbers? No. <laughs> I, am in, I, am, I am still in touch with three people that are in this book. And one of them is not a faculty member. <laughs> <laughs> it's your brother. The other one is your brother. <laughs> Okay, so when you were a teenager, how did you imagine yourself as an adult? Like, what did you think when you were, oh, last week of high school, here we go, here we go, we're doing it. What did you think was going to happen? What did you think you were going to be as an adult? I thought I was going to be a leather-wearing, hard-talking, like, let me tell you how it is, uh, comedian. You were going to be a leather- I thought I was going to be the female Dennis Leary. Like, okay. <laughs> that was for sure my trajectory. <laughs> But then it turned out that life is awesome. And I'm really not that angry about that much stuff. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Good stuff. Perfect. Yeah. It helped. I got dental implants. <laughs> that helped a lot. <laughs> having good teeth, you cannot underestimate the power of having good teeth. Yeah. Having teeth at all <clears throat> when well, you don't that. have them. There's that. It's a weird note to end on, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, I hope you have good teeth. I hope you uh, have a box in your basement or a live journal or a what? A blood. No, I don't or want Zanga. 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 Is blood. it like a Jenga? No. Okay. It's like a live journal. Okay, well, dig into the box in your basement or your, I was going to say Jenga. Zanga. Uh, and uh, tweet us and send us photos of you as a teen. Come on. Robin loved it when we took the picture. You're going to love it. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you next time on Morgan Brayton and other people. All right, you guys, we've got to chug this. Let's oh, just God, get yeah. her done. Okay. Let's get her done or we're not going to do it. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Party of the Moon Tower. <laughs>